What is going on everyone? Today we're going to take this generic Ruger American Predator Chambered in 204 Ruger and give it a one-of-a-kind custom paint job using only Rust-Oleum spray paint. Stick around to find out how you too can give your gun a one-of-a-kind paint job. All right, so the first thing we need to do is disassemble our gun. So, there we go. All you're gonna need to hydro dip your stock is a tote for water, your spray paint, and your rifle stock. All right, so the next step is really optional, and personally, I'm gonna choose to skip this option. It is to apply a new base color to the object that you're dipping. In my case, I'm gonna be dipping this in a camo pattern, a lot of browns, tans, and greens. So this OD green will really help accent the rest of my paint if I keep it this way. So I am not going to apply a new base color on this rifle stock. I'm going to leave it as it is. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these stickers that I got off of Etsy and I'm going to apply them to the butt end of my rifle stock. I think if I put these stickers on, then dip the stock, then pull these stickers off, where the pattern is cut out in the sticker, I think will really accent the gun well. It'll look so cool with the black part of these stickers as the new OD green and the cutout parts as the hydro dip portion of the stock, which coincidentally is the trees of these stickers. So it'll really give the trees like a camo pattern look to them and I think it'll look pretty cool. All right, so we finally got the stickers on our stock here. So we're ready to dip. So the first thing we need to do is take our empty tote here we need to fill this sucker up with water. We're gonna fill it up about halfway with room temperature water, and then we will start dipping. All right, folks, this is why you measure your tub and your stock to make sure that your stock fits inside your tub. So after I filled up this tote full of water, I realized that my stock is too long. So, I am going to have to put it in here diagonally. However, once I get down to about the water line, it is still too long, and either the front or the butt of the stock wants to rub up against this tote. So, I am going to sacrifice the hydro dip on the butt of my stock, and it is just gonna get rubbed right on down the side of this tote. That way, the rest of the stock will be dipped, and it'll just be the butt of my rifle that likely will not be. So be sure you take measurements on both your stock and your tote before you decide you are going to hydro dip your stock. Lesson learned. All right, no more talking about it, let's be about it. I got all my spray paint out here in a line. I'll take these lids off and give them one last good shake before showtime. I have my once beautiful OD green Ruger American stop ready to go with the stickers on both sides. Again, I'm gonna rip those off after I dip it. And I have my mixer slash paint pusher at the end, AKA a piece of cardboard. All right, I'm gonna try to keep these lids next to the colors, that way I don't get them mixed up as I'm spraying. All right, here we go.
All right, let's see it. Ready? The rear of the buttstock didn't really get it. Can I double dip? Can you double dip? Let's see real quick. Let's try to get another little pattern going here just for the buttstock. Because it didn't really take here. I don't know if you can do this or not, but we're trying it. What's the worst that can happen? Here we go, just for the butt stock. Okay, there we go. Now we have some on it. And that is a pretty cool pattern. So now I'm gonna take this here, I'm gonna peel those stickers off, then hang it up to dry, and yeah. Then we'll go from there. So let's go, that worked. All right, so you can see I just pulled the stickers off and the stickers came out looking sick. You can see the flag with the mountains on here. So I'm gonna let this drip dry overnight and then tomorrow we'll pull it down and give you guys one final look at this one of a kind stock here. I love it. I'm so glad I left the base color as the OD green. So we'll let this dry overnight and then we'll give you guys the final look tomorrow. All right, so the only thing we have left to do is to spray this with this Rust-Oleum Clear Matte coating on it. That'll just keep the paint from chipping off or getting scratched off. So we'll spray this on here, let it dry off, and then that'll be it. We'll show you the finished result. All right, folks, here it is, the finished product. The clear coat has dried, so the paint is much less likely to chip now. So this is what we've got here. From the front to back. Love this color. I'm really glad I kept that OD green as the base color. You can see it stick out there where the flag was. These colors just look awesome together. And we have the fox on this side. A little bubbling on the fox, but I'm not too worried about it. Give you a little texture on your hand. Not perfect, but is what it is. Folks, thank you for watching. If you like this video or you feel like you took something away from this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and also turn that notification bell on so you're the first to know when we publish a new video. Also, leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you want to see next. If it's doable, we'll be glad to do it for you. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.